across a long trip this weekend up to Gateshead. So what are your thoughts ahead of this one? Uh, obviously, uh, I get to go home, um, which is nice. Uh, so I get to see my family, uh, which will be lovely. Uh, no, I'm only kidding. Like, um, uh, they're, they're a good side. They're a good footballing side. Um, so um, they're, they're a side not to be taken lightly. Like, I've watched a few games of them and uh, they play some really good stuff. Uh, they play out from the bat well and they keep the ball well and, and, and they sort of cut, cut, cut teams over with some good, good wide rotations and full back rotations. So lots to be aware of um certainly coming off the back of south end we can't be going in there and sort of taking them lightly uh, we've got to go there with a real positive mindset and a real focus on on getting the job done and it's not going to be easy like i said they're a good team obviously it's an earlier kickoff than than usual so does, does that affect the planning at all or is it just business as usual no not really um i mean obviously uh well um yeah, no not really um i think we will we're going to go up the night before um which will, which will be good um and then, uh, yeah, I mean, it'll be just, just, just the same as normal, really. I'm, you asked me that question there, and I'm thinking, like, oh, well, it might affect the food and stuff. Yeah. But, but other than that, like, it is what it is, and it's, it's an earlier kickoff, and it's, it's, it's like, it, it's, it's not going to have an impact. And um, obviously, we last weekend, we saw Innie out of the squad with illness. I, I mean, he's obviously been in training, so he's back in contention, isn't he? Is there any other updates within the squad? Uh, so obviously he's he was unwell. He's well now, so he's back. Um, obviously Harrison played played twenty five minutes in the Hampshire Cup of the night, uh, um, full twenty full game. Yeah. Um, so he's he's back fit on Saturday. Um, yeah, I think other than that, we're we we're, we're, we've got no massive injury concerns. Uh, obviously, Josh Josh is, Josh McCoy's been back in um, doing some straight line running and stuff. So. He's um, uh, really good to see him back in with the squad. Like really good to see him back in with the group. So, and, and seeing him more regularly. So, I don't know, it sounds positive. I don't think it's it's that close, but but he's certainly not far away, and he's, he's got such a positive mindset. He he won't be uh, he won't be too far away. Obviously, as you said there, Panny played about 25 minutes last night. We, we, we could be like talking about last night's result, but obviously we, there was only 25 minutes of football because of the fog. But, I mean, you know, we saw some bright things from, for example, Ben Delacy turner from Alex McAllister out there. So, you know, there's a little bit of minutes in the tank for some of those players, but not as much as we'd have liked, is there? Yeah, it's good one, really. Like, like you've got um, Harrison, obviously. I think Harrison got what he got out of it. Um, but then you've got people like Classy and, and, and Audi was there and Harvey and Macca and Ben and Giles and Ben Schroll as well. So, like, um, and then obviously an opportunity to see, to, to get to see Yanis and to see Cam as well. So, like, um, it is what it is, really. Uh, you can't, can't sort of dwell on it too much. But, like, it's just one of those things where it starts coming down and it's disappointing. Um, but oh, nothing you can do. It'll be rearranged. Soon it's rearranged. Obviously, we'll let everyone know. Let the fans know. Um, and and like I'm, I'm keen to take like while I'm, I'm while I'm here or or whatever it looks like moving forward. Like sort of, I'm keen to have a strong team in the Hampshire Cup. I think I think winning breeds winning, and it's important that we carry that on with us. And and if it can be managed around, obviously the national league is the most important. But like if it can be managed around it, like it could last night and. There's plenty of plenty of boys on the fringes or in and out and as we rotate who need minutes or get minutes on the legs. So there'll be plenty of opportunities to go for a strong squad and I've probably cursed it now, but like <laughs> we wanna have a go at it and yeah. we wanna be, be positive, like show them like step four flying really. Like I think like they're thirteen points clear or something. So for us last night to have them on the back foot as, as we did and a good side by the way, obviously what you tend to invite minutes, but that's quite positive and we want to go far in the comp really. But obviously in terms of league action, you've, you've, you've had a fantastic record in, in your time as interim so far and you know, it'll be good to carry that on two wins in a row against Gateshead, won't it? Yeah, 100%. Like, I think um, the, the, the thing, thing with this club and the, and the, and the, people, the people around it and, and um, uh, maybe me include a little bit, like you put a couple of wins together and everyone's like, oh, we're going to, we're gonna get mid table, or we're gonna go and push playoffs, or, or like the start. We start looking a little bit beyond ourselves, and and we just need to live game to game. And like, uh, uh, I mean, I'm not on social media and stuff much, but I think like I think from from what I could gather from from after the free, it was it was all um, ecstatic, and which is great, right? Like we want we want fans to be like that. The fans are the core of our club, and we want people around to be like that. But a little bit of a like I kept saying it like to you, like a bit of a reality check and. Like we we'd only won three before that and we've won four now, which is great, but just because we lost three doesn't mean that we're terrible and 
just because we've won again doesn't mean that we're like amazing and we're, we're going to go here. We need a bit of a be be steady and a bit of a sort of like what's the word? A bit of a calmness and and understanding. Do you know what? Like we can easily lose again, but if we lose, it don't matter. It's what it is, and we can bounce back. So I think that's the most important thing with everyone around the club, and we just want to take. I know it's a cliche, isn't it? Like game to game, and I think that's the most important thing is do well against. Said, beat Gates said, then we'll worry about the next one. I don't want to look, or we don't want to look too far ahead. Um, and whatever, whatever, what we'll be, we'll be against Gates and we'll be as well prepared as we can be. Like I said, they're a quality side, like really good side. I don't think the, the table's a reflection of, of, of quite where they should be. They lost the, probably two of their best players in the summer um, and they're sort of recovering a little bit from that. So it's just important that we're on it, focused game by game, and we'll get the job done. <laughs> Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.